Let's take a look here with Convertix to DVD, the image resizing possibilities. Um, this would be to see, to measure what the video would look like once burnt onto DVD with black bars or without black bars or with in full screen or in widescreen. So to do that, I've added a file to convert into the software. I've expanded the title set, click next to video, and here I see video resize method, which I will click on that and click again on this triangle. Okay, which allows me to see a drop down of the different selections I have. I have even more settings um, if I click on this TV screen icon here on the right. So I'm going to go ahead and do that so we can take a look at those settings. Okay, now here in the preview window we have our video file. The first scene in my video apparently is black, so we're going to use this cursor down here at the bottom to change the scene so I can see uh, what the movie looks like in order to apply the best settings. Um, I suggest, suggest um, using a scene where there is a lot of light, that way you can see the difference between what area has black bars and what area does not. Okay, one thing you might want to apply if you have an old TV screen Sometimes there's some cropping done, uh, not that there's cropping done, but the real part of the video, the part of the video that exists on the DVD, it could not be displayed correctly by your TV screen um, because it's old. And so if you want to make sure during Convertix to DVD while you're using it that you um, create a safe zone so you're sure that the image you see in this preview is shown, you can do that by clicking on Show Safe Area. And you'll see here, I don't know if you see it that well, I could probably change the scene a little bit. Um, you will see some white lines here that on the cro uh, bo a border, white line borders around the side here. So you will know what is really in or not. Um, you know, if you were to add black borders to the side here and your TV doesn't have the safe zone that applies already, you might end up having black borders. So if you have a new TV, don't worry about the safe area. If you have an old TV, you might want to apply that and make sure that the part of the video you want to see is within this white area. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and undo that for our example here. Let's go ahead and take and look at the rest of these settings. This film originally is a 16:9 film, a widescreen, so the aspect ratio has automatically detected that and has applied that. Um, we could force that to full screen, 4.3 of course, um, see what would happen. Um, black borders here would be added to the top. Um, you can use automatic, so that's what was selected. You can stretch it. But this will not uh, keep the aspect ratio. Um, people's heads or the image will be distorted. Letterbox is a good option to select if you want to make sure that the whole video is inside your TV screen. Um, that might might add black bars uh, to the sides of your picture to ensure that the whole image is inside your TV. Pan scan and user defined. Now we can do some uh, cropping ourselves here. We can do, um, if I uncheck the symmetric, that means that I can add cropping to the left. All right, and I can do cropping to the right as well. You can use these images on the right to help you identify what it is that you're cropping um, on the top and on the bottom. Uh, I could also do symmetric cropping, so if I wanted uh, that to be the same on the top and bottom, I would apply that. And look how small I can get it to be. Well, we wouldn't want to watch a video really like that. So these are the video resize methods in Convertix to DVD. One thing to remember is that no matter what you set here, if your DVD player and your TV player are not correctly set, uh, you might not be seeing what uh, the actual DVD uh, contains. What I mean by that is some DVD players you can set to full screen or to widescreen. And the same thing for your TV, it can change the, the way movies are displayed. So even if your DVD is correct, uh, perhaps it is the hardware that is not correctly displaying the material. So don't hesitate to look into the settings that you have on your hardware. Um, have a doubt about the DVD you've made with Convertix to DVD? Watch it in a computer. It will correctly display the results no matter what. All right, that's all.